Hello everybody and welcome to Cooking with a Weirdo episode 2. Today we're going to be cooking some really yummy chocolate chip cookies. So, let's see what ingredients we're going to need. Okay, first we're going to need some bicarb soda. Very important. You need plain flour, with the big sign, vanilla extract, vanilla extract, salt, unsalted butter, don't know why we need both, an egg, look he has a face on him, um, we also need two types of sugar, brown sugar and white sugar, then we need two types of chocolate, milk chocolate and dark chocolate. Okay, now let's get to cooking. Okay, so now we have a big bowl. So what we need to do with the big bowl is, just let me get the recipe up. I haven't cooked this yet. I'll stop playing the focus. Okay. Okay, so then we have to get a big bowl. And we have to whisk together. Half a cup of white sugar. Right, where's my half cup? Half a cup of white sugar. Half a cup of white sugar, three quarters of a cup of brown sugar, get the whole cup and I'll fill it up to three quarters, It's escaping everywhere, but bear with me, I'm probably going to cut the video here. Mm -hmm. Yep, so, three quarters of a cup of brown sugar. Wait, I'm not going to watch my YouTube video. Alright, so we've got, add half a teaspoon of salt. Then we need to add the butter. Now for the butter, we're going to need to get our trusty scales. We'll set them to, we'll turn them on and put the bowl on it. Then we're going to hit the nifty button to set it to zero. Then we're going to get our butter and we need to add One hundred and fifteen grams of butter. Get a knife. Knife. Nice sharp knife. Set to the side. Camera down. We need a hundred and fifteen grams of this stuff. That's two grams. I'll just cut the video. This is gonna take a while. Okay, now that we have 115 grams of butter, we need to mix them all together. Well, whisk them all together. How on earth am I meant to do this? I know. With a little thing called. Film magic. Ta da! Now, a video magic does up a blender. Because I could not be bothered mixing that all by hand. Right, 
Blending it when it becomes a nice paste. I say it's close enough. Okay, so now we have to mix whisk in the egg. We need to whisk in the egg. Yep, put in the egg. The vanilla and the amount of vanilla we need is a teaspoon. So we get open. So now we're pouring one teaspoon of vanilla in. Yes, vanilla. And then we're going to Beat until light ribbons fall off the wrist whisk. So I'm just gonna put it on it. Oh yeah, this is going good. I'm just gonna show you. Filming this on my laptop so it doesn't look like me. It's going nice and smooth. Just give it a test. No, it needs to go through the middle. Oh, Now that we've done that, we need to sift in the flour and baking soda. Yes. Okay, the amount of flour we need is exactly one and one quarter cup. We need to sift the middle. Oh, got the sift. Yeah. Now we've got that. We've got the sift and we've got the flour. Okay. So we put the sift over the mixture and first we're going to grab one cup of flour and shake the shaking yeah, this is why I love cooking muffins not cookies or whatever this stuff is I entirely forgot what I'm making yeah cookies oh god this is a lot of flour Yeah, one and a quarter cups. That is a lot of flour. Now a quarter cup. Yeah. Okay. Now I've sifted in the flour. I'm going to need to wipe that off the bench. Now that I've sifted in the flour, I'm going to sift in the baking soda. The amount of baking soda we need is a half a teaspoon. Which I don't think anyone has ever invented a half teaspoon. So I'm going to guess the base. Which is half 
somewhere between an estimate and a guess. Guesstimation. Can I trademark that? Comment down below if you think I can try and mark guest stories. I'm probably not doing them for money, but I don't know if I can. Done. Half a teaspoon of baking soda. Yeah, whatever it's called. Perfect. Now we have to mix it together. But not be, we have to be careful not to overmix. Okay, just neatly fold it up with the spatula and put it back down. This way it gets nice and airy while still having the effect that we want. Uh huh. Mmm, coming along nicely. Yes, I am washing my hands in between these clips. I'm just, ed I'm just gonna edit them out. So every time I eat, I'm gonna, I wash my hands straight after. So don't worry, I'm not cross contaminating or whatever. It's called. Okay. Now it says add four ounces of. Dark chocolate chunks and white chocolate chunks. The thing is, I don't know how much an ounce is, and um, I might have really wanted two chocolate. I'm just gonna guess the maze. So yeah, put put four ounces or 110 grams in, or just whatever. Mm. And dark chocolate as well. Okay. So now that we've got them in, we're going to need to fold them in. And then what we're going to do is we're going to roll up the dough to a loaf, wrap it up, and that's going to be our... Um, we're going to put it in the fridge for 30 minutes. But I'm actually running a bit long on time, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the video here, roll it up into a log, put it in the fridge, and then tomorrow I'll come back and film the second half of the episode. See you then. Interval time. Hi, sorry I lied. I'm actually going to film me. Yeah, I'm rolling it up. Then there's going to be an interval, I promise. None of that fake interval stuff. <laughs> so now I'm just going to get it all out onto my newly flowered bench. So now I'm just going to knead it together a bit. Yeah, um, I would say what every other chef who does a cooking show does. Now your, okay, I'm going to pretend to be an actual chef. Now your biscuit dough should look like this. No, it shouldn't. Mine, um, well, it might. But if you don't get it looking this Horrible. Don't worry. It means you actually did some stuff right. Oh, don't worry. The recipe I gave you was right. Just when I did it, I accidentally did some stuff wrong. Like how I warmed up the butter in the microwave. That was a stupid idea. I really hope no one does that. I'll put it as a disclaimer at the start. Yeah, that's not for it. 
need a flat rock. Come on, get a flat rock. Now that I've got flat rock, well, it's not actually flat rock, or as you Americans say, clean rock. Clean rock. How do you say it in American accent? Oh, yeah, I'm just gonna get some clean rock. I don't know. I'm glad I don't have an Australian accent because that would suck. Like, you know, one of those Australians in the north. I'm an Australian in the south of Australia. Like, oh, Queenslander accents. They're awfully strong. I'm gonna be copyrighted if I. How many more of that song? Okay. So, once you try your best to. The box stop start cooperating. Yeah, okay. Yeah, once you wrap it all up with your queen of lab wrap, whatever you call it. Start of the video it contains mild coarse language or something. That's what they want me to put, right? Okay, so I'm now at my fridge. So I'm just gonna grab my newly wrapped up bowl and place it in. I'm gonna leave it there for 30 minutes. Well, you need to leave it there for 30 minutes, whereas oh, I'm gonna leave it there for a day because I'm Running late. Okay, bye! Hello and welcome back after the intermission. I hope you had a good 30 minutes of your the dough resting in the fridge. Here's mine. It's just been in the fridge overnight because I had to go and do some stuff. So, yeah, it's going to have a... The longer you leave it in the fridge, the richer the flavour is going to be. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is with our oven, we need to preheat it. So, the amount that we need to preheat it by is to 180 degrees Celsius. Oh, I don't know why it's not saying 180 degrees Celsius. Okay, so now that we've done that, we're gonna get, we're gonna chop up this dough onto a baking paper lined tray. Okay? Here's one that I prepared earlier. <coughs> I've wanted to say that for so long. Anyway, so I'm just gonna make sure that you can see. Yeah, so here's one that I prepared earlier. Oh god, if you couldn't see that, that would have been so embarrassing. Now, anyway. I unroll this. Okay, so I get a knife. Where is the knife? I think you used to watch me yesterday, didn't I? Now, the cookie with the basic corporation. You know, say that's about a cookie. And anyway, we dice them up, flatten them out, and plump them on the sheet. We need about 10 centimeter gap between each of the cookies. 
Mm -hmm. So if mine just came, cut. They are good and so crumbly. And plunking. I'll see you when I'm done with that. I'm at this point. I want to pause. Okay, <clears throat> so I've got all of the cookies on the tray. So, now that we've got them on the tray, we need to wait until the oven has preheated. Now, I will be back right after. Okay, so the oven's just fully heated up. So now it's time to put a tray of cookies in. Now, I do have a bit of leftover dough, and I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. Maybe make some more cookies. Okay, follow me. So now I'm going to put it in the oven. Now they're in the oven, we're going to leave them there for exactly 12 to 15 minutes. So I'm going to set a timer for 12 minutes. I'll see you when it's done. Okay, so the alarm just went off, so let's get them out. <clears throat> going to need, need safety. Safety first is, is important. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, here we have <coughs> my cookies. Yay! Thanks for watching. Join us next time where we cook something or other.